Good morning on this fine February morning. I know I'm about a week late, like five days, but happy belated Valentine's Day. And actually, this vlog is kind of uh, geared towards Valentine's Day, so I, I really should have done it before, but it didn't get done. But that's okay because the Valentine's Day wasn't nearly as beautiful as it is today. Look at that. Just ball me out. Today I, I kind of just wanted to go over some some uh, some funny saint stories. Just lighten up the atmosphere a little bit. Actually though, before the saint stories, it, it was a long time ago. But there was this video about pickup lines, and if you're if your uh, good Christian love life is is not spicy enough, some good Christian pickup lines to use. Well, I tried using some of them, and so. I can roll some of that footage for you. Hey Jess, feel my jacket. It's boyfriend material. <laughs> Looks a little too clingy and hard to maintain. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? Go ahead, I need to practice hitting a moving target. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jess, are you a parking ticket? Cause you've got fine written all over you. No, but you must be a jury notice cause I've been trying to avoid you. Is your name Google? Because you've got everything I'm searching for. It's not, but your name must be Yahoo. Why? <laughs> what? Yahoo, it's like another search engine. <laughs> but Yahoo, like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, are you my appendix? Because I don't understand how you work, but this feeling in my stomach made me want to take you out. Remember me? Oh, that's right, I only met you in my dreams. Actually, I wouldn't be in your dreams if you've never actually met me before because when you dream, you can only put faces on people that you've actually seen. So, bye. Bye, Felicia! It must be autumn because I'm sure fallen for you. Why don't you just leave me alone? <laughs> so my hope for you is that if you attempt any of these pickup lines yourself, that it's much more successful. So back in the day, um, during the Roman Empire, like 260-something, AD, I think. There was this guy, he was a soldier, and his name was Valentine. I don't remember his first name, but his name was Valentine, and soldiers weren't allowed to get married, but he wanted to get married. And so, um, prior to that, I guess this guy restored the sight of his daughter, which is pretty legendary in and of itself. So, anyway, he, he goes to get married, and they're like, nope, and then so they execute him. And so then, uh, he's a saint for that and the the pope celebrated valentine's day so that's how valentine's day kind of became a thing yeah that story was kind of tragic so we can look at some different saints that were actually had some pretty good humor so we can start with um oh saint bernard of clairview clairvo i don't know if i'm saying that right i took Took a semester of French, but apparently that wasn't enough. This guy was a monk, and he was opening a new abbey. And um, so they, they had built a church, and they were just going to dedicate it that day. But the church was just, like, packed full of flies, and just, like, a huge swarm of flies. And so, like, they were doing everything. They were, like, just killing flies left and right, but it wasn't even making a dent in how many flies there were there. So St. Bernard goes, I hereby excommunicate all of you. And all of the flies just died. He just said, I hereby excommunicate all of you. Just like being funny or whatever. But all the flies just died. Blessed Pope John the 22nd. He was being interviewed by this person. And they were like, your excellency, how many people, how many people work at the Vatican? And without missing a beat, he goes, um, about half of them. So, like St. Valentine, St. Lawrence was one of the saints that was persecuted under the, under the whole Christian persecution thing going on in Rome during the, uh, the Roman Empire. The way they, they killed him was on a, on a grill. And this is really sort of gruesome, but it gets funny, I swear. So, it, it's like a grill. They basically cooked him to death. Anyway, so he was on this grill, and they were cooking him, and they were cooking this one side and he was like turn me over and have a bite this side's done like oh gross like yeah that's sort of gruesome actually this one's not really a saint story but it's kind of a funny church story there was this one one reader they were up there and they were reading it was something about 
the high priest Anus. They read high priest Anus. And I just about died of laughter. Like, <laughs> it was so funny. So there you have it, some, some funny goofy saint stories. And I'm actually going up to Hayward to ski to Berkey, 32 miles. Stuff like this is actually a cool opportunity. If you know you're gonna be, you're gonna be hurting or it's gonna be really hard, it's a good opportunity to offer it up. Your mom probably told you, oh, offer it up for this or offer, offer that up. It never really made sense until I read more about um, purgatory and stuff and how even even your suffering can help souls in purgatory but uh, that's what I'm gonna do with ski in the Berkey so I think that's a just a good opportunity to turn my own suffering or my own pain self-inflicted or not into into something fruitful This was the craziest thing I've ever done, <laughs> hands down.